Alright, thanks for watching and today we'll do a cute little calculus problem. Namely, suppose you have a ball of radius r and you have some cap on it and we know that the cap has height h. The question is, what is the volume of this cap? So we'll find that volume. Okay. And, you know, if you like, for example, ice cream or Hawaiian shaped ice, so you know when you have the, the ice, you put some, you know, drops of juice on it, then there's just some portion which is colored. And the question is, roughly, if it was a perfect cap, what would, you know, the colored portion be? And the thing is, well, this looks pretty circular. So maybe it would be nice to use one of the classical methods for calculating volumes in calculus. In particular, notice that if you take horizontal slices, if you take the cap and slice it horizontally, then in fact you get disks. So because the horizontal slices, slices are disks, you have to use what's called the disk method. And what does the disk method say? say? Namely, suppose again you have this cap, and the cap goes from A to B, then the volume it's just the integral from A to B of the area of this disk, which is pi times radius squared. Squared. And because you're uh, you know, adding those slices up in a you know, horizontal fashion, you have to integrate with respect to y. Because again, you're adding them this way, not this way. And the question is, so a couple things, what is A and what is B? Well, again, notice that we have okay, our, um, let's go, our cap that has height h, h, but also our, you know, our ball, it has radius r. So really what you're starting with is r minus h. This is r minus h, and what you're ending with is h. So in the end, your volume just becomes integral from r minus h to h to r. I'm so sorry. You start at r minus h, and you end at the radius itself, which is r. So integral from r minus h to r of pi radius squared dy. Okay. And now, of course, the next step is to figure out what the radius is. Well, let's see. So let me redraw another picture. So we have, again, this ball, and again, maybe this cap here. First, now suppose that you're at some point y and you want to figure out the radius here. Well, there's not much to do except for using the, the equation for the circle. So the equation of the circle is if you have some point x, then x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. The equation of the circle, and remember, you want to solve for if you want x in terms of y, because if you look at this picture, the radius is precisely your point x. So you get x squared equals to r squared minus y squared, but because x is positive, x becomes square root of r squared minus y squared. 
And if you didn't get that portion, don't worry. There's a slightly easier explanation. Basically, the only equation that's given to you is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. And because we want to integrate with respect to y, we just want to have a function of y. And this is the only way of really getting a function of y from that you know, equation of the circle. So that's good. So that becomes a radius. And then all we need to do is plug into this formula. So I think that was the uh, uh, second part. Now the third part is just volume becomes integral from r minus h to r of pi times the radius squared, pi times r squared minus y squared, square root squared dy. And even though the square root is hard to integrate, luckily we don't have to do that. We can just square both sides. So we get integral from r minus h to r of r squared minus y squared dy. Pirates would be very happy because it's r squared. <laughs> anyway. And then let's just find an antiderivative of that. So. Again, r is a constant, so we get r squared y minus y cubed over 3, and that's from r minus h to r. Okay, now let's evaluate y equals to r and y equals to r minus h in our previous formula. So then we get pi, okay, r squared r, so r cubed minus r cubed over 3, and then plus, oh sorry, minus r squared times r minus h, okay, minus, oh sorry, plus, okay, r minus h cubed over 3. Now the nice thing is, this becomes 1 third, 1 r cubed minus 1 third r cubed, so pi uh, two thirds r cubed. And this, the nice thing is, there's this common factor of r minus h. So let's use that. So plus r minus h times minus r squared plus r minus h squared over 3. have a little expansion party. So it's pi times 2 thirds r cubed plus r minus h minus r squared plus r squared over 3 minus 2rh over 3 plus h squared over 3, which you can simplify a little bit. Namely, minus r squared plus r squared, just minus r squared plus r squared over 3 becomes minus 2 third r squared. So pi times 2 thirds r cubed plus r minus h minus 2 thirds r squared minus 2 r h over 3 plus h squared over 3. All right, and I promise it will simplify in the end. So let's just expand everything out. I know it's kind of crazy. This is calculus. It's pi two thirds r cubed. And then let's foil this out. So minus two thirds r cubed. Minus two thirds r cubed minus. 2 thirds r squared h, okay, and then uh, plus r h squared over 3. And then, remember, be careful, there's this minus thing, so we have plus 2 thirds r squared h, plus 2 thirds 
r h squared plus or minus aha uh -huh, almost okay minus h cubed over three. And let's see if we have some simplifications. In fact, we do. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. And any other bangs. Well, sort of a bang, bang. You know, and we have one third plus two thirds is one. So we get pi uh, rh squared minus h cubed over three. And lastly, we can factor out h squared, so pi h squared, r minus h over 3. Ta-da! And it gives you, again, the volume of a cap of sphere of height h. h, I mean, no, this is radius r. And I guess just a couple of remarks, if... Um, if h equals to zero, obviously the cap will have volume zero. But the interesting thing is, if h equals to r, then in fact, this simplifies to, I think, two-thirds pi r squared, two-thirds pi r cubed, which is precisely half of the volume of the ball. Perhaps another way of rederiving the volume of the ball, which is pretty cool. And again, this is a great application of the disk method. So, if you like those volumes and like calculus and want to explore other cool math topics, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.